All right, welcome to part three of the Getting Started in Swift UI series. Let's go, boy. All right, here we are, right where we left off in part two of this series. Now, this is part three of the Getting Started with Swift UI series. So, if you have not watched part two or even part one, I'd invite you to go do that right now. Go watch part one, part two, come back and watch this. This is part three of Getting Started with Swift UI. Today, we are going to talk about view modifiers. And it's exactly what it kind of sounds like. We're going to be modifying the view. In other words, change how it looks, modify its appearance. Now let's get started with this. Let's start out with this first text view. This hello world right here. I mean, they all say hello world. Let's zoom in a little bit. Over here on the canvas, two fingers on the trackpad, zooms it right in like a photo. Okay, come back over here. What I'm gonna do, is hit enter right here. I'm gonna hit period. Now look, these are all of your cool modifiers you can do. You can do lots of them and you can stack them up too. So watch this. Let's choose this one right here. It says bold. Now suddenly here in the canvas, see this? This text view is now bold. That's awesome. Oh, well, I think it's awesome. I sound really monotone right now. That's awesome, but that is awesome. Okay, let's try it on this second one. Let's do a different one. Let's uh, come down here and choose font. And in here, it just wants a font. So hit a period there. Cool. We can do body, call out, caption, footnote, headline, large title, subheadline, and title. Those are all different sizes and styles. So let's go ahead and choose large title. This might look familiar to you. Whoa. So that's actually the size of the uh, title you get when you use large titles in a navigation controller. Pretty cool, right? So let's go to this next text view and try another one. Dot, and let's try font weight. And that one's a font dot weight. So let's hit a dot there. Cool, so we can choose black, bold, heavy, light, medium, regular, semi-bold, thin, ultra light. Pretty cool, right? So let's try, hmm, heavy. Cool, so that third hello world is nice and heavy. Now let's actually move that up a bit. Let's move that one to the one right above it, like this. So we're gonna move this line up to the uh, text view above it because you can stack, like I was saying, or you build upon all the modifiers you have. So watch, move this one up. Now suddenly the second one has the large title font and the font weight is heavy. We could also change that to thin. That was another one of them. Look at that. Now we got this nice thin, big title. Really awesome, right? So here's another one on this third text view again. Let's do dot foreground color. You can see that wants a color, so we'll hit dot, and let's say green. Cool. So that's how you do your colors. So foreground color is actually the color of the text. Now the background, you can do background. And notice it's not called background color. Background actually wants a view, which gives you all kinds of possibilities because everything is basically a view in Swift UI, right? So let's throw in a color. And you might think, what? A color? But yeah, color is a view in Swift UI. So how about color blue? Hey, look at that. Well, that looks a little hard to read. So let's change that font color to white instead of green. Hey, look at that. Now we've got our background on this text view, blue. The font is white or the foreground color. Pretty awesome, right? But one thing that's pretty interesting is that um, the order of modifiers matters in Swift UI. So you can't put these modifiers in any order. For example, let's take this background right here and move it up to this second text view. And you'll see I'm getting this error. So it's because the order here, I'm setting this background color then the font, and then the font weight, but it's something you need to get used to in Swift UI with, okay, I need to put certain things before other things, so certain modifiers before other modifiers. So let's move this font weight up to the top of the modifier list right here. One, two. Perfect. The error is gone, and now everything looks great in here, except that's black text, so let's go ahead and put this foreground color right here and move it up to that second one. Well, there you go. We've got that white text or a foreground color. And then the background is a blue color, right? It's not background color. It's the background of the text view. 
This is pretty amazing. So this is what I wanted you to get out of this video was all of the things that you can play with as far as modifiers go in Swift UI and how fast you can iterate on this and change your design. You think, okay, different background color, done. Different font weight, done. And all kinds of stuff. Want to see another cool thing? How about this? Let's do dot padding. Well, look at that. See over here on the canvas? Look at the frame now. Since I'm select, like I have my cursor over here, it's showing the padding is all the way around this text view. So I've got padding on the top and the bottom, the left and the right side of the text view. But what happens if I move this padding up? Well, did it do anything? It gives us an error because it's in the wrong order. So let's go like this, move it one down. Seems like that font went well. Look at that. If I do say so myself, that is pretty cool. Big old padding area around the text. So that font weight obviously is taking precedence. It needs to be before a lot of other modifiers. So it's pretty interesting how you can find out how, okay, this needs to go before this, this needs to go before this, and you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. So that's pretty amazing. And let's say we don't want padding all the way around it like this. Padding is a pretty amazing modifier too. We'll hit, let's erase that and put padding. And you can actually give it these edge insets, or you can give it a specific size, or some of your edges, or some of the sides, it's calling them edge. So any of these sides, you can give a specific length to. So let's go like this, edge inset. So let's say we just want padding on the top and the bottom. Now, we could do this. We could say top, comma, dot, bottom, and then highlight those right there, wrap them up in square brackets. And now you have only the padding on the top and the bottom of this text view. That's pretty amazing, right? Now, we can actually replace top and bottom with something they call vertical. Whoops, vertical. It's the exact same thing. So using vertical means top and bottom. Same thing goes for horizontal. Now we've got the left and the right padding. Or in other words, instead of left and right, you can say leading, whoops, comma, dot, trailing. See, they just make it nice and easy for you. So instead of having those two leading and trailing, you can just do simply horizontal like that. Now, this is so cool how you can build upon your views like this and build your modifiers. It's so much fun. And now let's put a little icing on the cake here. Let's do dot corner radius. Now, how easy was that? Look at that. Got my nice 15 quarter radius on there and I can just change it as fast as you want. Just like that. 25, 2, 12. Okay, there we go. So look at that. I'm just changing just however I want. This is pretty amazing, right? No corner radius at all. Put that back on there. As easy as that. Isn't that pretty cool? That is really cool. Okay. And sorry, I keep emphasizing how cool that is, but look at this Swift UI. Just putting out your designs like this. And a side note, work with your designers. If you're on a team and then you have design team working with you, you can iterate on things if you need to. If you're going over design ideas with them, if they think, okay, I need to kind of work this idea out, you can do it in Swift UI really quick. Pretty awesome. All right, I hope you found that video informative. Stay tuned for the next part in this series. And if you like this video, of course, like it because that helps the algorithm and stuff right on YouTube. And if you want to get notified of other videos in this series and other videos that I do, then subscribe. That really helps, I guess, right? <gasps>